Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quarter that uh, a friend of mine sent me. Uh, we really didn't know what it was to begin with. He sent me some pictures I didn't know, so he ended up sending me a quarter. We ended up doing a little trade. This is a 2019 Guam quarter. There you go, War in the Pacific. I haven't really taken a good look at the reverse just yet. But this is the main thing we were wanting to know about in the, on the verse. <clears throat> this is clearly lamination error. Here, 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 and it looks like it drags through to here. The top of the T is gone, part of the Y is gone, uh, and if you look, let's get that out in the center there, right here there's a line that is also a lamination error that hasn't been peeled up. But what gets me are these striations, these scratches. That is not from the wrapper where they wrap the rolls. If that was from the wrapper, they would be out here. Now, there are ten of these coins <clears throat> come out of a federally wrapped roll at the same time. He got them out of the same roll, ten of them. I know these are lamination errors, all these, and the big one over here. But is this a strike through? Did something happen in the process to do that? I've never seen that. Uh, I don't really know if you can see that well or not. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, Everything else looks really good. There's some die chips everywhere on the A. Uh, where's some more? The tip of this A. The L on Liberty. The N in United. The A in States. I don't know if you can see that well. I'll move that down. Well, you can't see them there in the T. You can see the T. There's some on the O. The bottom of the M. Top of the E is a large chip. I mean, it went perfectly right with the E. I think that was it. I'm just <clears throat> wondering if anyone else had ever seen anything like it come from the mint with that circle in the middle of it. I, I'm not quite sure what it could be. I mean, if it was a circulated coin, I could see, you know, somebody scratched it. But coming directly out of a fed roll, it's kind of got me puzzled. I don't know if my friend wants me to put his name on YouTube or not, so I'm not going to. But uh, I think I found me a good trading partner. I hope it's beneficial to to both of us that uh, we uh, we continue to do what we're doing. We keep in touch pretty regularly, and uh, he's a great guy. He's part of the JB Coin Inks family. Uh, he uh, he works a lot. He's not on the live stream as much. He doesn't get many weekends off. But uh, but I really appreciate him sending me this coin. It uh, it blew my mind when I pulled it out of the package. I mean, it really blew my mind. I should have left this out of the flip so we could see it better. But I wanted to get it in something as soon as I could. 
So there you guys go. If anybody has any insight to what that could be, I mean, they look like scratches, but they're flat stamped. Like, they're really not dug in. They're more or less just flat on the coin. So, if anybody's got any clue, let me know. And just a reminder, if you're out and about and you're spending cash, you're going to get some change. Make sure you dig in that pocket or that pocketbook and check that change because you never know what you got in your pocket until you look.